All right, do I have a treat for you guys? This is probably one of the biggest diecast additions to my collection that I have ever gotten. I know I got like a bunch of sweet rare cars, but this one might just take the cake. And again, this is a car that I never thought I would even have a chance at getting in my collection because this car you can only get on the Jeff Gordon store online. You couldn't get this off of Lionel Racing or any other diecast dealer website. You can only get it off the Jeff Gordon website. And it was a pre-order, and they were asking a lot of money for this car, like over a hundred bucks. And that's just for this regular standard finish. They also came out with a liquid color version of this car, which went for almost two hundred dollars. So uh, yeah, I don't think I was gonna get the liquid color, but I am happy that I got the standard finish. One of one eighty. Jeff Gordon drove this car virtually during the shutdown last year in an iRacing event. This is his Pepsi Excelta throwback to his 2004 Pepsi car that he ran at Talladega, like I just said, and he actually won in this paint scheme uh, at Talladega. So uh, that is really special, and that's probably another reason why he uh, raced this car during the iRacing event. So this is super cool. Jeff Gordon's Pepsi car, and here's the box, obviously, because um, being an online promotional exclusive, the box got a special design to it, not like the regular cars, but here you can see the picture of the render of the car itself, Jeff Gordon's name up there, standard finish, 20. On the back, you see more. We got the Pro Invitational iRacing Series, Hendrick Motorsports, the Pepsi logo, the classic Pepsi logo. <clears throat> I love it. Jeff Gordon, the 24. On the top here, same thing, all that, and nothing at the bottom. So that is the box, and this is the car. Holy crap, what a beauty this thing is. All right, so like I said, this was a mix of past and present. Uh, obviously, the design is to uh, resemble his 2004 Pepsi car, which had the same logo, but didn't have Excelta. Excelta's different, and he had obviously a couple other sponsors, but this just being Pepsi and Excelta, it is sweet. Not to mention it's on the Camaro Tool. So I am just in love with this car. So let's take a look at this. We'll start off on the front, as you can see, the Chevy 24 Hendrick Motorsports. Oh, I love it, with the yellow splitter down here. The classic Pepsi logo. So cool. Cup Series. Chevy. Good year over here. The awesome, like, glass crystal design in the background. The yellow 24 Jeff Gordon signature up on the name rail. Axelta. Pepsi. Good year. The American Ethanol logo there. On the back here, Excelta and Bright Futures. This is actually on the uh, William Byron iRacing car as well. So I guess that's just uh, what they have on the iRacing car. So the Bright Futures uh, is actually, like I just said, on the same as the William Byron. Valvoline 24, ZL1 Camaro 1LE, Excelta number 67, Gordon. It's got the lime green spoiler. Might be hard to tell in the light, but it is a lime green spoiler. You can see the inside of the car there. <laughs> and here it is on the other side. So that is it. Jeff Gordon's Pepsi number 24. Let me try and get the hood open for you. And there we go. It's open. And underneath it, we just got the Chevy logo. And then there is your engine detail. Looks pretty good, I guess. There's some color in there. Keyword, some. And that's that. So that is the Jeff Gordon Pepsi iRacing 24. Nothing more to say about it than it is absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys for watching.